Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 868. My name is Christine, and on today's episode, we are celebrating 100 days of Tombow. Today, I'm showing you two products from Tombow, the dual brush pens and the color pencils. So I'm going to start with the color pencils. I love this little packaging they have for them. This is volume eight. It's very pale tone. So you open it up, you can see you get um, one, two, three, four, five, ten pencils. And it's these are very soft, subtle colors. So I'm going to show you what I did. I wanted a way to incorporate these pencils into um, my art journal and so I decide to do a rubbing with them. So you can see underneath this big doily, which is the new Crafters Workshop template, um, there's this texture here from a template. And so I'm going to just show you how I got that. So uh, <clears throat> I am using this template here and I am putting my paper on top of it. And so what's really nice about these pencils is even though they're very pale colors, um, they show up, they still show up really nicely. And so I'm sure you did this as a kid. It's just a rubbing, but it's probably a technique that you don't think of using very often. And so you could do this on a card. You can do it, you know, as I did on my um, art journal page, um, you know, scrapbook layout, whatever. And it's just yet another way to use your templates. So you can see that even though these are soft colors, pale colors, they're still nice and pigmented that um, they're able to show up. And they blend really nicely together. You can um, put them over top of one another and the colors blend and mix. When I do it, I like to use the side of the pencil. That's how I get that nice soft look. Just trying to go through some of the colors to show you different colors. If you wanted, you could tape your paper to the stencil. I just am um, holding it. In my book, I had put it right against the edge, so. This is a really soft, soft color. It won't show up, but I like to sort of just put it um, over top to blend in that a bit, as well as this color may not show up on the Oh, there, it's not so bad. It shows up a bit, but it's, again, a very soft, subtle color. And then finally, we have this blue. So there you can see our finished rubbing there. And then we just do it up. And so if you had all the different uh, colors, you can line them all up like little books on your bookcase. So those are the color pencils. Now we're gonna move into the markers. So here is the page I did with the markers. And I'm going to show you how you can get this effect here, as well as a little bit of stamping. So I'm just using a postcard today to make it easy. And I'm going to open this up. Here you get six markers. This is, I think, the Groovy collection. So I'm using a new template here from Crafters Workshop, designed by um, Rhonda Palazzari, I think. And so what I do is I'm just coloring in a bunch of these little designs. 
Now what is actually going to happen is um, it's sort of going to get washed away. But I find by doing this, sometimes you'll get a little bit of the design in the background, which I like. And, um, and it also is a way that the colors will be sort of mixed and blended rather than just, um, just coloring directly on and then it might be harder to blend out. So even though it takes longer this way, I sort of like to do this. I wanted to put just a little red because red is such a powerful color that um, if you put a lot of red, you're just going to have a big red uh, color when you're when you go to blend it out. And because I'm going to be misting this, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just sort of applying color in a fun way. So I have some color there and you could even stop like that and that looks really cool. But what I'm going to do is spray it. And you can see how it blends. So I think I'm going to dry it like that. I like how it's like these little bursts of color and yet the colors are still individual. So I'm going to give that a dry. I have a couple of wet spots, but I'm going to just pick it up. I sometimes like the look of how it looks like that. So if I had just colored on, I wouldn't have been able to get that nice sort of marble, not marble, but sort of look with the colors dispersing through. So now what I like to do is put this back on and just do some random colorings again, right over top. I even add a bit of yellow, even though the yellow is harder to show up. I'll put it on some of the lighter areas. And sometimes it'll just at least give that little shadow. So when you take it off, you have some random designs all over, which I think just adds another neat layer. So that is a way. I'm just going to show you too that you can stamp with these. I will take one of the darker colors, maybe some blue. And the thing with stamping, if you've ever stamped with markers, is you can be selective of what you want to stamp. So say I just want to stamp the numbers. And I just put my marker over that and then The numbers get stamped on. <clears throat> so there's a couple ways to use 
these markers from Tombow. So that is the markers and the pencil or the color pencils in a and a couple techniques using your templates and these great products. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Spellbinders Texture Plates. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.